It was just a leaked image of the Model 2 parked at Tesla's Fremont factory. But that was enough to set off alarm bells throughout the automotive industry. Anyone who looked closely noticed something was out of the ordinary. The distance between the wheels and the body ends simply doesn't match any previous Tesla standard. And we're not talking about just any aesthetic tweak. Apparently, the Model 2 is throwing out everything we knew about traditional automotive architecture. Reducing nearly 300 millimeters of front and rear overhang is the kind of decision that, for many automakers, borders on technical suicide. But here, it seems to be exactly the opposite. What's happening is that Tesla has decided to take Gigacast technology to a new level. Instead of using these giant parts solely as a structural base, the company is fusing the chassis with the suspension system and powertrain. That's right, suspension and powertrain integrated directly into the cast front and rear blocks. This eliminates a series of intermediate components, subframes, struts, metal cradles, that have always been considered indispensable. And for those who have seen this before, you'll remember the solutions used in race cars like those at Le Mans, where every gram and every centimeter counts. Only now, the logic is different. It's not for racing on the track, it's for surviving in city traffic. This approach completely changes how the car reacts in a crash, how it handles corners, and even how it's assembled on the production line. With fewer moving parts and fewer bolted or welded parts, the assembly process is faster, more precise, and cheaper. But at the same time, it requires an absurd level of engineering. Because with this drastic reduction in the space between the axle and the body end, it's impossible to install a traditional suspension. There's no way to accommodate shock absorbers, joints, stabilizer bars, or even the passive deformation cages that help protect occupants in a collision. In other words, either Tesla has invented a new safety standard or it's hiding a trump card we don't yet fully understand. One hypothesis is that this new integrated system uses the structural block itself as a controlled deformation zone. It would be a kind of smart armor where the giant cast aluminum piece would absorb the impact like a giant spring. Interestingly, this solution not only saves space, but also reduces the car's weight. And weight, in an electric car, is everything. Less weight means more range, more agility, and less wear on components. Even interior space could benefit, as the compact chassis allows for a more spacious cabin, even in a smaller vehicle. It's a bold move, which goes against current industry trends, but could open a new chapter in the history of city cars. And the most curious detail of all, the Model 2's structure perfectly fits the dimensions of the so-called a or B-segment European hatchback. This means it can navigate tight blocks with a radius of less than 5 meters. It may seem like a small thing, but for those who live in big cities, this changes everything. Parking, maneuvering, and avoiding traffic jams. Everything becomes easier. And if this chassis truly delivers the promised safety and performance, we're talking about an urban platform that could bury its traditional competitors once and for all. Especially the low-cost Chinese models that still cling to outdated structures. The Model 2 doesn't want to be just a cheap electric car. It wants to be the new yardstick by which all others will be measured. Anyone who looks closely at the Model 2's roof notices something strange right away. The curvature doesn't follow the continuous pattern typical of Tesla cars. There, near the C-pillar, there's a sharp break in the roof line that gives the impression that the rear section was fitted together as a separate block. And this impression is no coincidence. Everything indicates that Tesla is testing, for the first time, a modular roof structure. Yes, that's right, a car with a quick-release removable roof. An idea that seems crazy at first glance, but in practice, could be one of the company's biggest innovations since the launch of the first Model S. This modular roof would have at least three main variations. A simple laminated metal roof, extremely cheap to manufacture, an intermediate model with tempered glass for those who prefer more natural light inside the cabin, and, most interesting of all, a version with an integrated solar panel 
capable of generating between 180 and 210 watts. It's not enough power to power the car for hours, of course, but it could keep essential systems running and even reduce air conditioning use on hot days. And most impressively, this entire system would be assembled with just four to six mechanical pins, a data cable, and a 12-volt power plug. Replacing the roof could take less than 15 minutes. This completely changes the logic of how a car is sold and assembled. With a single standard body, Tesla can offer different versions of the Model 2 without changing anything on the assembly line. Simply install the roof corresponding to the chosen version. The cheapest for those looking for economy, the mid-range for those seeking visual comfort, and the solar roof for the more technologically advanced. And best of all, the customer can, in the future, exchange it for another model, like a cell phone case. Imagine being able to buy a car with a metal roof and, months later, go to a Tesla store and leave with a new solar roof installed on the spot. This modularity extends beyond the roof itself. Even the rear spoiler, that discrete spoiler above the rear window, can also be fitted or removed depending on the model. This means the same car can have different aerodynamic configurations depending on the market or buyer profile. Basic versions will not have the spoiler, while premium versions will have it to reduce drag and improve performance. And all this without needing to change the body structure, which reduces cost, complexity, and manufacturing time. And there's more. The modular roof paves the way for a new era of automotive customization. Not just aesthetically, but functionally. A car that adapts to the driver's taste, budget, and even lifestyle. Those who spend most of their time in the city might want the basic model. Those who live in sunny regions might prefer the solar panel. And for those who appreciate visual comfort and sophisticated design, the glass roof is the right choice. This concept of the car as a customizable platform and not a closed product is something that could completely change the way we view our relationship with automobiles in the coming years. Taking a closer look at the rear side of the Model 2, more precisely behind the left wheel, reveals a detail that might go unnoticed by most. Two well-defined vertical cuts separating the bumper from the rest of the body. But anyone familiar with cars knows this isn't normal. No previous Tesla, not even the futuristic Cybertruck, has this type of division. This raises a bold hypothesis. The Model 2's rear end could be composed of removable modular panels. Yes, entire sections of the car that can be unscrewed and replaced easily, like puzzle pieces. The first part of this system would be the so-called lower rear module. It would encompass the bumper, taillights, ventilation grille, if applicable, sensors, and possibly even a 12V or 24V auxiliary battery. This module would be approximately 1.35 meters wide by 45 centimeters high and would be secured with six to eight screws and a light connector. In the event of a minor collision, the most common type in urban centers, this part could be replaced in less than 15 minutes. No bodywork, painting, or welding required. And the estimated cost? somewhere between $120 and $180 for the plastic version, and up to $350 if it comes with integrated LEDs. The second part is even more interesting, the upper rear module. This would include the rear window, trunk lid frame, spoiler, cameras, and even the air vents. Measuring approximately 75 to 80 centimeter toward long, this part would also be removable, allowing for different versions with or without a spoiler, different lighting options, and even mounts for advanced autonomous driving sensors. With this design, Tesla could manufacture sporty or more fuel-efficient variants of the same car by simply replacing this section. And once again, all this without reworking the main bodywork. The technical name for this concept is service-centric panelization something currently only seen in supercars like McLaren, Ford electric vans, or Renault and BYD industrial vehicles. And why is this so important in an affordable city car? 
because it dramatically reduces repair costs. According to NHTSA data, nearly half of urban accidents occur in the rear, and on average, repairing a Model 3 costs over $1,100. With this new design, the cost could drop to less than $400, and that makes all the difference for those on a tight budget. And this idea of modularity isn't limited to economics. It represents a new way of thinking about a car's life cycle. The Model 2 would be easy to assemble, easy to repair, and even easy to customize. One can imagine service centers offering visual or functional upgrades by swapping out rear panels, like kits. This brings the automotive world closer to what's already happening in personal technology. Simple, quick, and affordable upgrades. Instead of replacing the entire car, the owner can simply adapt parts according to need or taste. And this could be exactly what's needed for a truly popular electric car to catch on with the general public. Among the Model 2's many intriguing details, one in particular caught the attention of the most observant, the glossy white paint applied only to the center of the body, while the front and rear ends remained covered in camouflage fabric. At first glance, it looks like just another prototype detail, but upon closer inspection, this may be the clearest sign of a completely new production strategy. There were no decals, visible divisions, or seams between what was painted and what was covered. This is no ordinary test paint job. It's strong evidence that Tesla is experimenting with so-called partial body painting. This technique consists of painting only the central body of the car, which represents about 60% of the total area, leaving the edges to be added later, already finished, with finishes specific to each market. This completely changes the production line flow. Instead of painting the entire car at once, which takes between 42 and 45 minutes per unit, Tesla can reduce this time to about 24 to 26 minutes per vehicle. The time savings are significant. Less time in the paint booth means more cars rolling off the line and, of course, less energy spent on heat and ventilation processes. But it doesn't stop there. This technique also allows Tesla to produce the same core body for all regions of the world, the United States, Europe, India, Southeast Asia, and only later add front and rear sections according to local requirements. For example, the European model might have a smaller bumper and extra reflectors, while the American model maintains the more robust standard. All of this is done with modular parts that are assembled after the main paint job in a stage called post-paint final assembly. And this concept is already being tested at Giga Berlin with the RoboTaxi project, which further reinforces that this is very close to becoming standard. Beyond production efficiency, the paint used on the Model 2 also draws attention for a relevant technical detail. It's likely a new electrochemical paint with thermal properties. This bright white paint is said to be able to reflect solar heat, reducing the car's interior temperature by up to 17.6 detomakers when parked in the sun. This translates into less air conditioning use, which reduces battery power consumption and increases the vehicle's range. A particularly valuable detail for entry-level models with smaller batteries. And when you put all this on paper, the logic becomes clear. Tesla is creating an ultra-efficient production line, capable of doubling current capacity with just changes to flow and paint. Each line at the Fremont factory currently produces about 475,000 vehicles per year. With partial paint and modular assembly, that number could exceed 950,000 cars per line per year. Combining two lines between Fremont and Giga Texas, we're talking about over 2 million Model 2s being produced annually. This, for an entry-level car, is a huge step. It's not just a cosmetic novelty or a prototype trick, it's a breakthrough right at the heart of mass production. Now that all this comes to light, the bold chassis engineering, the modular roof, the removable rear panels, and even the strategic paint job, it's clear that the Model 2 isn't just another Tesla car. It represents a complete shift in the concept of the urban electric car, a car that isn't limited to being cheaper, but designed from the ground up to be easy to manufacture 
easy to adapt, easy to repair, and, most importantly, easy to scale. And this combination of solutions could make it what the market has tried and failed many times before. A truly popular car without sacrificing technology and innovation. When it comes to affordable cars, many people think only of the final price. But the reality is more complex. An affordable car needs to be more than cheap to buy. It needs to be cheap to maintain. And in this regard, the Model 2 appears to be taking a leap forward. Modular components that can be replaced with a few screws, cast structures that eliminate intermediate parts, optimized paintwork that speeds up the manufacturing process. All of this reduces costs at every stage of the vehicle's lifespan. This may sound overly technical, but ultimately it means one thing, less headaches for the owner and more car on the road for less money. The proposal is clear. Create a car that fits the budget of those living in cramped urban centers with an affordable entry cost and maintenance that's easy to manage. And it's not just about selling a cheap Tesla. As many people simplify, it goes deeper. It's a complete repositioning of the brand, trying to reach an audience that has never been able to afford a Tesla.